Domestic Violence. Rosinda Garcia, age 52, gunned down April 21st, 2024 in Houston, Texas. Her ex-boyfriend is a suspect. She was found deceased after she put him out of the apartment. God bless the family. Damn. I'll say they believe the mom's ex-boyfriend is involved. The family spoke to our Brooke Taylor today and she has the latest. I spoke to the victim's son who tells me he recently found out his mom kicked out her boyfriend just days before she was found shot in her car. Daniel Gonzalez says the last time he saw his mother alive was Saturday. I walked her to her car from my apartment, give her another hug and kiss. And we talked about what we we're going to do the next day, Sunday, and we we're going to meet up at her apartment. She got in her car and that was basically the last time I saw her and touched her. But on Sunday, Houston police say Rosenda Garcia was found shot to death inside her car. A man walked up to her firing several shots and fled in a white Jeep Renegade. My mom, uh, a very kind and innocent person that she is and has always been her entire life. Police confirm with ABC 13 they believe the ex-boyfriend is involved. Because he hasn't been charged, we aren't naming him. Gonzalez says he won't answer his calls and hasn't been to work. And last year, he says his mom's boyfriend called the police on himself. He was having one of his emotional episodes and he, I guess, didn't know how to react. Uh, he pulled out a gun, didn't necessarily threaten and point it at my mom in her apartment, but um, he was just holding the hand, his, his gun and looking at it and saying, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I may do something crazy and how it ended up how it wrapped up basically is the officer said, I think what you need right now is mental help. Police tell me detectives are now looking to speak with the ex-boyfriend, but Gonzalez says that may be difficult. He and his family have been active on social media and he says several people have reached out saying his mom's ex is in Mexico. I'm aware that there's a process they have to follow authorities, but I'm um, obviously, I want resolution as fast as possible as you know, her one and only son, I want him caught and charged, and I want him to pay for what he did. Brooke Taylor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Stop domestic violence. It's not right. It's always, always wrong. God bless the family again. Damn. A crucial reminder here, help is available. If you or anyone you know is a victim of domestic violence, you can call the phone number there on your screen or simply text the word START to 88788. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.